In the world of collectible dolls, few franchises have made as significant of an impact as Monster High. Launched in 2010 by Mattel, this unique line of dolls captured the imaginations of children and collectors alike, combining elements of horror, fantasy and the good old teenage years. However, before the iconic dolls hit the shelves, a fascinating process took place behind the scenes. The creation of prototypes. Some of these prototypes have also been shared in recent years by Monster High creator Garrett Sander. And I would like to address the in today's video or rather give you an insight into the world of Monster High prototypes. But before that, let's roll the intro. So from my knowledge, I know that there are some questions in regards to prototypes which should be answered. The first one being, what are prototypes? In the world of toy manufacturing, prototypes are temporary models of a product used to evaluate its design, functionality and aesthetics before mass production. For Monster High, these prototypes allow designers and marketers to experiment with concepts, materials and character designs. Therefore, different types of prototypes could emerge. These would be the engineering pilots, hand-painted models, test shots, hair samples and packaging samples. The prototype stage is crucial for ensuring that the final product resonates with the target audience while maintaining the brand's core identity, which is why the designers and marketers put a lot of hard work into this stage. How does the design process look like? The design process for Monster High prototypes usually starts with the concept of upcoming dolls and characters. Designers begin by sketching ideas that reflect each character's personality and story. After the initial sketches, the next step involves creating physical prototypes. These early models are often made from different materials like resin or plastic, allowing designers to create a three-dimensional representation of the upcoming dolls. The first prototypes may look quite different from the final versions as they are often experimental in nature, focusing on how the dolls will look. What's the role of feedback? Feedback actually plays a critical role in the development of Monster High prototypes. Once initial prototypes are created, they are presented to focus groups, including children and parents, to check on their reactions. This feedback is key to understand what works and what doesn't in terms of design, articulation and overall appeal. For instance, adjustments might be made to the doll's facial features, clothing styles or even the quality of materials used. A good example of these adjustments made would be the doll of River sticks. Garrett Sander shared images of her prototype doll with these exact words. The original design she was in a tie-dye pastel hooded dress with shredded ends. As you can see in the sketch, she also was supposed to have a pixie cut hairstyle, but that got vetoed early on because girls don't like dolls with short hair, lol. So for the model that went to testing, we have her longer hair. You'll notice the model has the floating skull inside her head too. It would have looked so cool in production, but what can you do? As you can tell by the words of Garrett Sander, the doll underwent a number of changes due to various feedback. The transition from prototype to final product can be dramatic. Early prototypes of dolls often showcase different colors, facial designs or even hairstyles that may not align with the finalized look. Now onto a topic that could also be interesting for collectors and that is collecting Monster High prototypes. For collectors and active fans of the Monster High franchise, prototypes hold significant attraction. They represent the early stages of beloved characters and dolls, often showcasing unique features that never made it to the final release. Collectors often treasure these prototypes, not just for their rarity, but also for their representation of the artistic exploration that occurs within toy design. As the franchise continues to develop new characters and themes, the discussion around Monster High prototypes remains ever relevant, allowing fans to appreciate the beauty of what could have been. As a collector myself, I have also come across prototypes in my collecting journey that I find quite interesting. Two of these prototypes are for example the basic Cleo and Deuce 2-pack and the basic Venus McFly -pack. Anneli Monster from the editing here, I just wanted to quickly explain why I'm actually interested in these dolls. Because I just realized that some of you may not know why. Both the Tupac and Venus have a great meaning to me. They are very important to me because Cleo and Deuce were my very first fashion dolls from Monster High and Venus has always been my mascot on the internet. Of course, it's no longer the case these days because I have my mini-me, 
But if you were to watch some of my old videos, you would notice that Venus has always been by my side. I just find the prototypes interesting and very beautiful, especially because they are so different as well. And above all, the hand-painted faces are incredibly beautiful and very special. That was all I wanted to say, so back to the actual video. Are there any prototypes you're interested in and would love to have in your collection? Now let's sum it all up. The world of Monster High prototypes offers a captivating behind the scenes look at the creative process involved in producing one of the most beloved toy lines in recent history. Each prototype recounts a story of imagination, experimentation and adaptation, showcasing the inspiration behind the characters we know and love today. As the franchise continues to evolve, the prototypes serve as a testament to the innovation and dedication that make Monster High a timeless icon in children's culture. Whether you're a fan, collector or simply curious about the artistry in toys, understanding the significance of these early designs adds another layer of appreciation for the Monster High phenomenon. That's it with today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to not miss out on future content I'll create. Also, don't forget to hit the bell to get notified every single time I upload a new video to this channel. Please leave your thoughts on this topic in the comments below. And I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye!